Hello and welcome back to Ebenezer. We have a great show in store for you. Coming up, we have a story about Jesus being baptised. And we have a craft where we make doves. But before we get into any of that, it's time for another new song. And it's called I Know What I've Been Told by Michael Tinker. Do sing along. Told. Cause told Jesus is worth more than gold Jesus, is worth more than gold. Jesus, died, to Jesus died to save us all Listen up to hear his call So we send his son to die for us and forgive our wrongs. Whoever believes in Jesus Christ shall inherit eternal life. Cause I've been told Jesus is worth more than gold Jesus died to save us all Listen up to hear his call What a great new song. Well, now we're going to hear from our Bible story about Jesus getting baptised. And you'll never guess what happens next. Let's find out. Jesus came before John the Baptist to be baptised. But John tried to stop him, saying, I need to be baptised by you. How could you let me baptise you? But Jesus said, It is the right thing to do to make sure it is all done properly. And John agreed. And as Jesus was being baptised and praying, heaven was opened and the Holy Spirit descended on him in bodily form like a dove. And a voice came down from heaven, You are my son, whom I love. With you I am well pleased. Jesus himself was about thirty years old when he began his ministry. And he was descended through Joseph from King David and from Adam. Now that we've had the story, we're going to investigate what it means. To do this, we're going to need the help of our feathered friend, Zelda. Let's dive into the passage. Why does John not want to baptise Jesus? Well, this part of the story comes from Matthew's account in his Gospel. But it was because John knew that Jesus was so much greater than he was. If you remember from the last episode, John says that he's not even worthy enough to untie Jesus' sandals. John knows that Jesus is so amazing and so wonderful that he felt like he was too small a person to baptise him. It should have been the other way round, Jesus baptising John. John is showing great humility. Why does a dove come down? Well, a dove is a symbol of the Holy Spirit, of God. That a dove comes down onto Jesus is a sign that he is special and wonderful. And God's words along with it show us that Jesus is God's son. Why does the Bible tell us about Jesus' family tree? Well, there were lots of prophecies in the Old Testament that promised that a Messiah or a Saviour would come from the line of David. So Luke gives us this genealogy, which means this family tree, that shows that Jesus comes from David and even back to Adam. This shows that God has had a plan for the whole world since its beginning, and he never gives up on his promises. What does this passage mean for us? Well, this story shows that God fulfills all his promises. He did send Jesus to be our saviour and to be our king forever. God promises us that he will bless us and keep us and never abandon us, so we can rely on him and know that he will never leave us. He'll always fight for us. 
What can baptism mean for us? Well, in modern life, Christians still get baptised. It can be an important step on our journey with God as we commit to following him in our lives. For some, it can be an important symbol of washing clean and being raised to new life. And some of you might have already been baptised. But I only got baptised when I was 15 and I was ready to affirm my faith. So do speak with someone you trust if you're thinking about getting baptised. What are we going to learn about next time? Next time, our story is about Jesus being tested in the wilderness. Do tune in to see how he responds. Now it's time for the memory verse. Today's memory verse is Luke chapter 3, verse 22. And it says, You are my son, whom I love. With you, I am well pleased. So let's say that again. You are my son, whom I love. With you, I am well pleased. Now it's time for the craft. Today, we're making doves. For today's craft, you will need two white paper plates, some scissors, Remember to be careful when using scissors and ask an adult to help you if you need. Some tape. A marker pen. And finally, an orange felt tip pen or orange colouring pencil. And that's it. This craft doesn't require much at all. So let's get cracking with the craft. First, take one of your paper plates and draw out the shape of our dove's body. We are going to cut this out, so don't worry if you mess up a little as you can always trim the bad part off. Try to copy the shape I've drawn. Now we're going to cut out our dove's body. Remember to be careful with scissors and cut out the shape we drew for the body. Now it's time to draw the shapes for the wings. To do this, get your other paper plate and draw two long teardrop shapes. Try to make sure the ends of the teardrops are drawn on the outside rim of the paper plate so that the bumpy part looks like feathers. Now it's time to cut out your wings, just like you did with the body. Remember to be careful when cutting out. Now we have to assemble our bird. Cut some bits of tape and use the tape to attach the two wings to your bird's body, like I've done. Now for the finishing touch. Use your marker pen to draw an eye and a line for the bird's beak. And then use your orange pen to colour the beak in. And now our dove is finished just like the one that came down to Jesus when he was baptised. We'd love to see any doves that you make. Do send pictures of them through to the email in the description below. What a lovely craft! Do send through photos of your craft to the email in the description below. In future episodes, we'd love to answer your questions and show your work. But for now, it's time for another song. And it's a new one called I Rely On Your Constant Love by John Hardwick. Do sing along. Constant
We're running out of time now, so we're going to end in a short prayer. If you'd like to make it yours, please join in with the Amen at the end. Lord, thank you that we can celebrate because we know that your promises are true and that you'll never give up on us. Help us to live faithfully with you. Amen. Amen. Well, that's all we've got time for. Do tune in next time as we look at Jesus being tested in the wilderness. But that's goodbye from me, and that's goodbye from Zelda. And we'll see you in the next video.